Welcome back to Uncensored. I'm Maria and your host from Yas Mermaid. And today I'm super excited because I have the amazing Captain Lori Lucas on board today with the Uncensored show. And in case you don't know who Captain Lori is, let her talk and let's let her explain who she is and what she has achieved in the industry of, of boats. I don't know about all that, but yeah, <laughs> very awesome. Uh, thank you. I my story basically in the yachting industry, like I said, is I started off as a cook, stew, mate, and worked my way up to the captain's position. All stemming from my scuba diving career, which I became an instructor back in college, started to travel, and my love for the ocean is really why I'm here and why I'm doing this, and lucky enough to have this career. Thank you, saying. So you yeah. guys, you can see like you can start as a stew and work your way all the way to captain. It is possible. Yeah. And she it, she's it, showing on it that. Totally, yeah, it's totally possible. And that's what I the message that I want to get out there for the girls is that it, it is possible. And with hard work and focus and and getting in there and doing the work, it's definitely possible. Mm. The women, we're everywhere. We're everywhere. Exactly. Which leads me to the reason why I invited you to the show today is because this year specifically, I've been seeing a lot of women just like a switch just turn on, turn on and they've been really wanting to empower other women and wanting to make Facebook groups to create like a safe space, like a safe container where we can yeah. explore and we can not victimize ourselves, but really just share what's happening with us within the industry. So. My question to you, because you are one of those women who all of a sudden said, you know what? No, I want to empower women and I'm going to make a group and I'm going to make events. I just want to know what happened that ignited you to, to, to embark on this new journey and why now? This is something that I've been thinking about for quite a few years and it's been in the back of my head and like I would express it to a few people and but really didn't know how to get it started or what was going to happen when I did. And then I was on Charter and I finally posted it one day. And then the outcome that I'm giving from it is in incredible and overwhelming. And my point of it is it's not about me. It's about the younger generation and our older generation of cabinet women in the industry. To, again, to be able to share stories, get together let's say vent again in a small space of where we can really talk about issues that are going on where no one else is going to see or no one else is going to hear. You're not going to necessarily be judged and to say what you think and what's going on your vessel or in the industry and to empower them and say, we've all been through it. You can get through it as long as you handle yourself in the correct way or maybe not sometimes. <laughs> and pushing through and not letting anyone tell you that you can't do it. I've had so many haters and I still have haters along the way. And you really just have to learn to overcome those certain individuals, whether they be there, there's going to be male haters and there's going to be women haters for, for the, for the women in this industry that really are serious about this industry, making it a career, whether you're a captain or a chief stew or a third stew or whatever, as long as you're serious about it and you want to continue and learn. If you're a chief stew on the boat and you want to learn to be your captain, you know, it, it's getting, it's going the extra mile, going up in the wheelhouse, seeing what the captain's doing, asking questions, no matter which way you want to grow. If you're a third stew, you check out what the chief stew's doing and try to take in that. If you want to be deck, you take in more deck situation, even if you're stewing. And educating yourself mm, and absolutely. really not picking no for an answer because you're going to get shot down. You're going to get shot down a lot and constantly. But it's it's for me that that empowered me. That made me say a lot of times I was working for plenty of male captains. Man, if he's running this rig, doing it like this, I can definitely do amazing and better than and starting this. If I had somebody when I was, let's say, a bit younger in the industry to lift me up and say, oh, this is going on or this, that's going on. I have this certain situation that I think I would have moved along quicker in my career and became so, captain, but maybe yeah. a bit sooner. So I wonder, obviously there's a pain point 
in each individual's life that usually is like that, that transformational, that catalyst to, to go and do something different. And I know that you said that you've been thinking about this whole thing about supporting and empowering women within the industry. And I just wonder, obviously, today is when it's just recently is when it actually physically the action was taken, but yeah. the um, concept was already birthed. It birthed itself long ago. So I just wonder what was that pinpoint? What was that pain point that got you really, okay, the switch? You got to do it. This I, I think that came for me to the point where I feel confident enough in myself to be able to preach to other women or to tell my story where I've been through it all. I'm confident in myself to share my stories now and believe that they'll make an impact. What got you to that confidence? Just over time and little things and different mentors and different situations that I've had to deal with along the way to where I go, yeah, I got this. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I have to prove myself anymore. To anyone. So I think that coming with that, finally getting that comment, I think that sometimes and then sometimes I'm like, I don't have anything together, of course. But having the confidence in peers in my industry also being like, wow, you've got this. I don't necessarily think that about myself too much, a little bit. And, and the fact that I started from the beginning and worked my way up is a whole nother situation that I can share. What made me start? What made me finally do it? I don't know. Just something told me to. And like I said, I feel like I have enough confidence now that I can tell people about my story. You know, that I'm at a level now where I don't really need to prove myself. I'm going to tell you how it is straight up. You know, I'm not one to sugarcoat it because this is not a sugarcoated industry. This is a hardcore industry for sure, especially as a woman to succeed. You know, I, I was just recently on, on a boat, Renaissance, the 116 foot. Previous, I was running around 85 footers and Captain Doug on Renaissance, I went on there as first, first officer. He gave me the opportunity to get behind the wheel and that I worked with him, which he is very well respected and him saying like giving me the approval a little bit also was like, all right. I'm all right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm all right, but I'm not all right because nobody's always all right. Yeah. And I still struggle daily with situations and constantly. So it's also sharing that. And the younger generation of women, I can learn a tremendous amount from them. I almost feel like I'm old school. The girls coming up nowadays, especially on deck and engineering and chiefs do all of that and way beyond how what I ever was, or I can learn from them. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's both a give and take. And it's absolutely. Yeah. My ultimate goal is again, having, like you said, a safe place or, um, you know, a group where we can really come and vent, not necessarily online, but let's say two girls or three girls connect in there, they're up with her and go out maybe for cocktails or just meet and talk or support each other with whatever way that is. I'm hoping that's what it ex extends into. You know what I mean? Support wherever we are. Like, hey, you in New England? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm having a bad day. Can you want to meet or just meeting or any of that? Just to support each other in, in every way possible. All the stuff that goes on in, in the yachting. From the sexual harassment to having from... All, uh, all of it, having to work harder to get ahead. And in, in anything you do, that, that you have to do. As a woman in the industry, especially working your way up to captain, you have to be, you gotta be a hard, hard ass bitch. There's no crying. There's no, you can't let them see you sweat. The emotions get put aside and you have to just deal with it. And you have to be a man sometimes. You have to be more than a man. At plenty of time. You can't let them push you around. One point that I want to express to the girls a lot, which I had when I was younger, is like second guessing yourself. If you're on a, that gut feeling, I believe in going on that gut feeling. And plenty of times I've been on boats where 
it, I deal F yourself. I'm walking off of here. I'm done. You know what I mean? And, oh, you're going to get a bad reputation, this and that. Well, well, here I am now. You know what I mean? It never seriously affected me in a situation in my career. Decisions and you're a hot. But if you're doing, you're pushing you around, just rounding, you're, so this is just not right. They go on that gut, absolutely. You very they shouldn't will not forward to the people that not to your highest benefits. Yeah, exactly. And good chance too that you may not fit with that boat. People don't think about that at all. So it's not that there could be another boat along the way that you're going to fit into perfectly your personality or, you know what I mean? Everybody yeah. doesn't jive in, in this industry. You could be let go because the owner doesn't like how you chew. You know what I mean? The owner doesn't like how yeah. you look so, or how you walk and you could be let go and you can't take that stuff personally. That's no. another huge. Yes. So we have talked a lot about the obvious things that are going on that we can, every crew member has seen it or experienced it or heard of it if you haven't experienced yeah. or seen it. Um, I want to know from you, what's the new paradigm? What's the new vision of the, because I feel like we are birthing a new way of doing yachting, whether we want it or not, it's happening. Like. The old is dying. It has to because it's not working. It has never really worked, but it ran its course. It's at that stage where it's like the champagne party is over, dude. Yeah. So we're birthing into this new paradigm where we want more diversity, where we are equality or equanimity, uh, where we want to be heard. We want to be seen. We want our mental health to be validated and all these things, right? We want our human rights to be taken serious as a woman and as a captain and, and somebody who has experienced a lot of the old paradigm. What's your vision for the new yachting that we're giving birth as we talk, actually? My vision for women is to be stronger, to, to speak up more in, in situations that to speak up more, not to take the shit. Just because the captain's the captain doesn't mean they're 100%, right? Doesn't mean they know everything. There isn't any captain that knows everything about everything. My vision is for these women to really become powerful. And I think, and I'm hoping that will come by getting together with the group. And when I say empowering women, that's what I mean. When they're in different situations or they're in a situation on the boat, they stop and think like, all right, I, I can handle this. I can handle this in the professional way and the correct way. But I'm also not going to take any shit. You know, I, a big part of my career has been not taking any crap, really, and saying, no, it's not going to go that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, you're, it's not going to happen that way. And having a voice because I was smart enough, I knew enough. So really, like, empowering women coming together and having more of a voice in the industry and running the boat yeah. and moving up where they think it, it, it's hard to move up or to run a boat. It's a lot of responsibility, but there's women pilots, there's women doctors. Like you said, we're everywhere. Running a yacht is very possible and especially more so as a female. Like I said, think about going from a cook stew or even experiencing being a stew and then being a captain or being on deck and then being the captain's position. Not many male captains, they can say maybe deck, but interior wise, don't have that experience or even that touch of perfection of how it should be run mm. in a way. You know what I mean? We have so much more to offer as we go up the ladder in the industry Absolutely. because we can multitask where a lot of men cannot. Well, I will consider myself a man in that area. <laughs> I feel like if I try to multitask, I'm not present in what I'm fully doing. So I'm like a one woman project, but that's obviously a very individual thing. And yeah, that's great too. As long as that one thing you're focusing on, you keep moving forward with. Not There's it. so much to know in, in yachting and boating and mechanics to all of it. I am constantly learning. It, yes. it, it's impossible not to in this industry. It really is. I love that you are, you got into the point in your life and your career that you're so fucking ready 
to say, <laughs> I am here. I'm ready to yeah. hold space. I'm ready to support other people the way I've been wanting to be supported all this year throughout my career. And yeah, potentially parent. I'm so excited for all the young crew that are entering with all this support available that it really wasn't there before. Thank, Thank you me. so much, Lori. I'm, I am positive that I will have you back on the show because probably M, we really need a lot of things that, that we can go and dive deep into. And I want to pick your brain and your wisdom. But what, before we go, what, is there anything you want to say? Nothing, just that if you RSVP or if you don't RSVP to the event, the more the merrier, at least stop by to say hello, meet one or two, and and we'll see where it goes from here. And uh, and girl power, that's the last thing I have to say is, ladies of yachting, let's empower each other and in every way that we can. That's what it's about. We're going to, we're going to take over. We're going to take over. That's yeah, amazing. Sister. Okay, guys. We're thank great. you so much. Okay. Until next time. Bye. Bye.